Hello. So um, I want to talk to you today about term life and whole life insurance. So I'm going to tell you guys the difference between the two um, and possibly who may benefit from getting a term policy and who might benefit from getting a whole life policy. So a lot of people grab it, gravitate, I guess that's a word, gravitate to term policies because that's mainly the policy that you've heard about but there's also a whole life policy so let's talk about term real quick so term is just as it sounds a term policy is for a term period it's either five years 10 years 15 20 25 30 um, those are usually the term years of the term policy so let's say that you get a term policy and the term policy that you decided to get was a 15 year $100,000 face value policy okay so at the end of 15 years if you're still alive then you're going to have to get another policy so your benefits won't be paid out right unless you get additional riders. And again, we'll talk about some riders a, a little bit later, but unless you get a rider attached to that policy or you get a, um, a renewable term or something like that, um, like guaranteed renewable um, rider added to your policy, then that policy you're gonna be able to renew and it's not gonna have um, an increase. So let's say if you're uh, 40 years old and you decide to get a 15 year, $100,000 term policy. So when at 15 years, okay, when you turn 55, uh, your policy, you're still alive, right? Which would be really good. But if you're still alive, then your policy is going to have to renew, right? So, and then let's say, Take into consideration that there's going to be health, different health things going on from 40 to 55 because we all have these bodies that fail, unfortunately, and things happen along the years. So at the end of that term policy and you're still alive and you're 55 now and you're not 40 anymore, different things are going on within your life and I'm just being honest with you guys, then you're going to need a new policy, right? It's going to start over. You're going to need a new policy. You're going to need to get a, another 15-year policy, another 10-year policy, same amount, increase, decrease, whatever it is. And it's a possibility that this policy is going to require you either to do a medical exam or it's going to require you to um, renew at a higher rate just because of mortality right you're you're getting older and your body is um different and things are probably not as if they were when you're 40 years old okay so that's a term policy basically in a nutshell you have this policy you have this face amount whether it's fifty thousand whether it's ten thousand or a hundred thousand or whatever for a certain term at the end of the term you're going to need a new policy if you're still alive by that time right and I'm hoping that you are still alive right by that time and nothing happens. So really quickly with the term policy, let's back up a little bit and say if you do pass away, then your family members, whoever's the beneficiary on your policy, is going to receive those benefits. And if it's $100,000, they're going to receive the benefits on your behalf, right? Which could change the trajectory of your family's life right and we should want our parent our family to uh be better off financially than we were so a hundred thousand dollars can really help them I'm, I'm guaranteeing you that so let's look at the, the uh the whole life policy really quickly so a whole life is just like it says you have a whole and it's for your whole life until you die so as long as you're paying your um, payments, your monthly payments, right? As, as long as you're paying those payments, then your policy will be in effect. If you don't pay the payments and your policy cancels, then your policy cancels and everything's gone, right? 
So if you get a whole life policy and the policy face value is 100,000, 50,000, 10,000 or whatever, then if you pass away, then that's going to be paid to be your beneficiaries. If, you know, until your your whole life, right? So there's no term, there's no cutoff here. And that's the good thing about that. Not only the good thing about that is they pay for your whole life and you're not worrying about trying to renew, getting higher rates or anything like that. Not only that, um, the whole life policy um, has cash value added to it. So if you put some money in, let's say you have a five, ten, or fifteen thousand um, dollar whole life policy, you're going to pay your monthly premiums, and then you're also um, going to be um, getting money added to that, like interest. You're going to get interest added on to that, depending on what type of policy you have. It's going to be based on, but you're going to be gaining money right and you're also going to be um, not only gaining money you can borrow against that money after a certain point and you have your policy and let's say something comes up whether it's something in your life medical whatever you can borrow against that right and then you can pay it back and everything's peachy keen right and so you have that policy until you're gone from here and again, that policy can also change the life of someone. Let's say if you buy your policy at 20 years old and you're here for another 30, 40 years, you pass away, you never borrowed money. If you borrowed it, you paid it back. Your family members will then receive uh, your death benefits at the end of your life, okay? And... Um, I hope you guys live forever, but we know that we, our bodies are failing, and as we get older, unfortunately, things break down in our bodies. We tend to change. Our lifestyle habits change. Um, you know, there's global warming. There's things in the air. There's all kinds of things, and we never know what's going to happen. So those are term life, and there's a whole life policies, and that's Hopefully you guys understood exactly what that was. I tried to kind of go slow and explain that to you a little bit. And hopefully you understood exactly what I was saying. But if you definitely have any questions, be sure to contact me. Um, my website is www.themodagency.com. I would love to help you guys out. And I, I'm in the business to help people because we all need insurance. We don't like it. We don't like paying for insurance. But when something happens, you're going to be stuck paying a bill for burial, a bill for something else. So you want to make sure that you have your life situation together for your family, right? Because your family is going to be left behind and you're going to want them taken care of. And you don't want them to struggle, right? The struggle can end right there. That's breaking a generational curse that struggle can be gone you have to make the decision right now today to call me up to get that policy going and don't worry about it just add it into everything else we got to pay but this is beneficial for your family think of it that way don't think of it as oh my god i'm going to pay this money out we all got to pay the money out but the fact is we're all going to pass we're all going to die and something needs to be left behind to show you were here and you cared enough about your family to make that move, to make that step, okay? So um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a message on my Facebook or my Instagram. Everything is themodagency.com. If you do hashtag themodagency.com, we should come up, okay? So I love you guys. God bless you. Take care of yourself. Stay safe, wear those masks, wash those hands, do everything is necessary to stay healthy, okay? God bless you and I'll talk to you soon.